Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and welcome to Aero Workshop. Today I want to add some dust extraction to my WorkBee Z1 Plus CNC. Now I know before you say it, it's only a simple matter of getting the extraction pipe, suspending it from the seal and connecting it into the router and job done. However, that's not the route that I want to take. I want to incorporate the dust extraction onto the same bench as the CNC so that if I need to, in future, move the CNC from where it is to another part of the workshop, etc., I don't have to be trying to move the extraction off the seal and all to bring it with it. All I need to do is unplug to, from the extraction unit and unplug a power source from the bench, and I can move the whole lot in one go to wherever I need to, if I need to. So, my idea is a little bit of a work in progress. I have a little bit done on it already, so I'll bring you along, bring you up to speed of where I am at the minute, and we'll go from there. So my thinking on this is to actually have a way that I can actually put an upright and an arm here to support the pipe and the flex for the milling motor. So what I thought of was actually putting some four inch PVC pipe coming up at the corner of the bench that's attached on one of the runners that I left on the bench when I was making it. And if I do that, I can then put an arm off that out to the CNC itself. So what I have done is I have gone ahead and I have made up a simple bracket that holds a bit of PVC pipe and it has a track on the inners that will slide in over the 4B2 on the end of the bench and I can just run two bolts and two wing nuts through that. So that can sit in on the bench like that and as you can see I can now attach the extractor to the bottom of that and I can work from here now to go out to the motor on the CNC. So I'm just going to put this in place and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do next. Okay, so next now I want to concentrate on making an arm to go to roughly center on the machine. Now, for this I have got some ventilation pipe that actually fits inside the other pipe so that I have an option to reduce that pipe down so that we'll also take the adapter from 100 to 63 mil, which is the size of the pipe going to the dust shoe on the machine. But what I wanted to be able to do is have that in the way that it can pivot with the machine as the machine moves. So I just made up this little test bracket to see. So that bracket can sit down over the ventilation pipe and sit on top of this pipe and that will allow it to pivot. So I'm actually going to use the CNC to actually cut these brackets and arm and I have designed up the brackets and arm in Vetric Aspire and the beauty of Vetric Aspire is you can also do a simulation of the cut and you can look at that in 3D to make sure that the machine is actually going to do what you think it is going to do. So next up is just a case of placing the plywood on the machine, setting it up and letting it run.
Okay, I now have those cut out and I just run a round over on them with the router as well. Now, I did have a small little bit of delamination on one of the pieces, but I knew that that plywood wasn't the best. But for that's the bottom bracket. It's not a matter that one layer has gone off, but it doesn't matter at all. The rest of it is still solid. So now it's just a case of boring a few pilot holes, adding a bit of glue and screwing these together. Okay, now that I have that together, there's one more thing I want to add to it before I actually put it on the machine. And that is some sort of a way of reducing the suction from the extractor. I am going to be using a kind of a high pressure uh, extractor fan on the CNC in the CNC room. For anyone that doesn't know, there are two types of dust extraction fan. There is a low volume, high pressure unit, which should be working under the same principle of a vacuum cleaner, where you have a high suction, but it doesn't actually hold much dust. And then you have the high volume, low pressure uh, extractor units, which would be kind of like the bag type units that have the filter bag and then the dust bag underneath. They actually will actually carry a lot of material but you don't have as much suction, just the quantity of air running through them is not as high. Now, I will be using a high pressure extraction fan when I'm using the CNC in the CNC room. Now, I think that the high pressure system might be a little bit strong when I'm using it. It might actually suck the brushes on the dust shoe into the unit, which I'd lose uh, extraction there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of PVC pipe that fits over this pipe, like that, in between both brackets here, and I'm going to bore a series of maybe four 20 millimeter holes in this pipe so that when I twist them, I can line it up so I can actually reduce the suction on the dust extractor if I need to. It's easier to do it now than have to take it all apart and try and figure it out later on. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I have actually taped both of the pipes together and I have kept the small section down the thickness of the top bracket on the gantry. So, and I have added a piece of tape in the middle where I have the four holes marked. Now, what I find best for boring PVC pipe is these step bits. And it's very simple then, it's just line it up and bore through. Like that. And then it's just a case of untaping them again. So hopefully you can now see that I have four holes and if I twist that sleeve I can actually have it sealed completely or I can introduce a little bit of air in through each one up to four. And that gives me the option, like I said, of just reducing the suction a bit. If this is not enough, I can always add a few extra holes later on. So with that done, it's just a case of assembling it through the bracket. So one pipe slides through the other and just line it up through the top bracket like that. And I'm only bringing it flush with the top bracket. And now that's in place. Now I'm going to line them up so they're at the back when they're open. So that's twisted around the front like that to be closed. So now it's ready to pop it onto the machine. 
Okay, so I have gone ahead and I have also added the 100 mil to 63 mil adapter for the 63 mil flexible hose that I'm going to be running to the mill motor. So now it's just a case, like I said, of dropping this into the other PVC pipe. Like that. And as I said, this will support the hose out to the center of the machine and it can move if it needs to as a pull comes on the pipe from one corner to the other corner of the machine. Now I have moved the CNC to the furthest away corner to the machine limits away from the corner that I have put the gantry and I now have the dust shoe in place. Now this is the dust shoe that's supplied by Oosnest and it has a very good feature where the brush is actually held on. It has one uh, location pin and then two magnets. So it's easily enough to take on and off when you're wanting to swap out bits and things like that. Now I'm going to use this location to set the length of the flexible pipe to connect back to the top of the gantry. So I'm not going to bore you when I do all that. So I'm going to do all that and we'll come back and we'll check it out then. Okay, I now have the flexible pipe in place and I have cable tied it across the top of the gantry and I have also ran the flex from the milling motor along the gantry as well. So I now have nothing attached to the ceiling. Now, I haven't attached it to the dust shoe in a permanent way. I have it in the way that I can take it on and off because I have a plan for that as well and I'll share that in just a moment. Before I make a test cut just to test out everything to see how much of the dust it actually takes up, I just want to bring this in close and I'm going to turn on the extractor with the, all the holes in the baffle that I made fully closed and I just want to show you how much it's actually sucking the brushes on the dust shoe into the extractor and then I'll just turn it to each one and hopefully you'll be able to see that the brushes will drop down. But there is still suction there and I believe enough suction to take the dust away. But I just wanted to show you why I added that feature to the gantry when I was making it. One. Two. Three. So hopefully you've seen from that little demonstration that there is a little bit to be gained by adding those little baffle holes as we'll call them and I'm going to play around with those as I use the CNC in different ways just to see what setting is best for me. So I'm just going to do a small simple cut now that I've done before just to see the extraction and the dust shoe in action and then I'll show you why I didn't attach the pipe to the dust shoe permanently. Okay, I'm actually very pleased with the result of that test. There was virtually zero dust actually escaped outside the dust shoe. But you'll always end up with a little bit of dust down in the grooves in your project. So my plan is I can take the pipe off and I actually have found here it's actually off a leaf blower, that the pipe off the leaf blower that actually is a perfect fit for the 63 mil flexible pipe. So now I can use it as a vacuum on any parts of the job where the dust shoe hasn't picked up any of the dust. That's it for this video. Hopefully it'll be useful to someone to, if you're actually considering putting extraction on your CNC that maybe this might give you some idea as to how to do it and maybe consider adding the baffle to your project. So all that's left for me to say is thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Good luck.